Hi guys, uh, Asher Steve here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing Gigabyte 710 graphics card. So let's dive in. So this is the graphics card uh, we have ordered, and then the, so today we will be looking at this uh, graphics card, uh, Gigabyte 710. As you can see, uh, the model number, everything is given here. It is uh, of 2 GB DDR3, and then we will fix into this system. Like uh, this is my system, and then will operate this and then we'll fix and let us see so let's do the unpacking part here so we will remove this uh, seal pack by taking the screwdriver we can unseal them because the company has sealed it properly so let's open and see what is inside here so as you can see they have also given the uh, screw mount to put on the case and then this is a spare one so you can see the graphics card is uh, intact with the plastic uh, seal properly and we can also see that uh, we will overturn and see so that this seal must be there so making sure that it is uh, back from the company and then it is genuine making sure that uh, it's a brand new so this is the driver CD they have given you your DVD and this is the manual book so inside there is a CD and the manual book which they have given us so after fixing this graphics card we have to install the driver and as you can see it's a brand new and then uh, it's a uh, small in size and those are the monitor connectors but uh, we will remove and see that this is a DVI and then HDMI so as you can see these are the three display connectors different connectors they have given the size is quite okay I'm quite happy as you can see the size is not that bulky and the contact point it's quite okay so we will remove the screw quickly and then the, we will open the casing that given it on all the connectors and we will see inside so now this uh, fan has been the put uh, extra to make the system more cooler and now this is uh, where we will fix the uh, card graphics card there that is a slot and then uh, I also have put extra fan here in my CPU here as you can see but uh, there is no place right now so we need to remove one of those uh, uh, this rear panel uh, which is blocking there just behind this uh, just below this NIC card so we have to remove quickly this one so gently be careful because uh, these are very sharp and it may cut your hand as well so just gently move back and forth and we will take off this uh, rear panel which is uh, blocking this so we have removed that now there's a place for the graphics card to fix it so now we will fix up the screw as we already fixed the graphics card so now as you can see it is nicely placed and then uh, make sure it is doesn't move so as you can see the rear panel and we have put the cover this HDMI and then they have given the cover so that uh, it will be free from the dust so we, if you are using two three monitors you can use them you can take it out but if you are not using it's better to keep a lock from dust so that it will be dust free so, so this is how it will look like after fixing uh, on the board uh, so it looks uh, neat and tidy near the NIC card so now it's ready to rock so now I've put the cover everything now you can see the rear side of the CPU I've put this cover for VDI and HDMI and then the VGA there of course my motherboard has the inbuilt of VJ and HDMI as well with other graphics card. So as you can see, HDMI is here and then USB RJ45, this is extra RJ45 and then uh, the display of the graphics card is given below there. So now we will check the performance. So now as you can see that uh, system is like uh, performing quite uh, fine. It's, uh, you can see the speed and all that so now I have a 12 GB of uh, RAM there and now if I open the Photoshop 
PC as you can see I open new it is performing quite well now so shift in and then the stats so I don't give much problem now since uh, we have installed the graphics so guys I hope uh, video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you and see you in the next video